This is Talon Razorclaws, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended. We are playing Modded Scorched Earth, and we have been working on our wall, but we're going to go over a couple of mods today first before we get going. This thing here is the Omega Storage. May store obelisk for storing your your dinos. First thing you have to do is make this. All right. In Omega. And at this is level 12 you can get this. You need 100 cementing paste and 100 metal ingot. That's just for this part. And to get the other part, you need 50 cementing paste, 50 metal ingots, and 20 crystals. Teleporters later. All right. So once you do that, and you create this, then, of course, you can create it in your inventory. Right there, you can create the Omega Storage Obelisk. Then you have to go in here to make the remote. So you have to have the obelisk no matter what. But, let me see. Yeah. Um, open menu. Send dinos to personal storage. And now, the Jaboa is in here. And you can also release them from here. You can also put them in Tribe storage. All right. Now we go into here, and you can you have. Oh, there we go. I had to click my mouse once to make it show up. Change I and I settings. Store dino inventory, trap corpses. You know, just different things you can do. Cool down timers. These are all things you can change. Not sure why you want to do some of these, like disable remote usage. Why the hell would you want to do that? Just don't make the remote. I mean, really. Anyways. But those are some items you can change. Now. Also, you have your thing here so you can just go from here pull them in let them go let's go ahead and send you to grab storage all right once you've clicked on what you want then you just and these back all right another good feature of this if you happen to have say like the super spy glass let's go ahead and activate that all right, we have our super spyglass. See how he's blue there? All right. Let's run out here. All right. Um, oh, there. You can see him if I hover over him, he's blue. Right? That means you can... If he was yours, you'd be able to snag him. You can't. As you can see, you push the button, nothing happens. All right. But, since we got the spyglass up, we hit Shift F5. And now, as long as you got the, uh, what's it, put eight away. You see all, all the blue lines faded? The light back up. When you use these two mods together, you can actually see through objects. Cool, huh? All right, let's turn that off. Oh, and another thing. Come here, little Jaboa dude. Oh. Um, F inventory. He has nothing in his inventory. Probably starving, poor little jerk. Let's just feed him. Oh, not those. There we go. All right, you see he's got berries in his inventory? Eight. 
send you back here so you're easy to find. All right, we just picked them up. No bag. Drop them. Oh, quit picking them up. Yeah, there. Still got a couple of berries left. He hasn't eaten them all. All right. I guess I should point out a couple other things. In admin settings, you can also set it up to trap newborn babies. So as soon as it's born or hatched, whatever, it will snag them up and it puts it into tribe storage. Allow baby growth in storage, which means they will grow up. So I, when I'm capturing these babies, hang on to them for a little while. When I release them, they'll be fully grown, fully imprint on release. So yeah, this has lots of useful benefits to it. All right, now we put that away. On to SCS terminal. This is another storage device. All right, on this one, you got your terminal settings here. What collect fertilized eggs, incubate fertilized eggs, auto trap babies, resource generation, unfertilized egg generation, poop generation, beetles convert poop. And also enable mating, uh, spay your dinosaurs, cryo dinosaurs. So if you have the a bunch of the pods in there, these cryo pods, or SCS pods. Then you can tell it how many, this has 300 storage. So you don't want to get carried away with this. How much human poop to collect, how much small, medium, large, massive, and then how much fertilizer it should have. It probably shouldn't be so high. Drop that down at least to, well, 150, there we go. How many fertilizer it's gonna to send to each plot, crop plot you have. So you can do quite a bit with this. So right now I have a Mossy Uteranus and a Paracerotherium, which both laid large species. And I got three dung beetles in here, which are turning all the large species into fertilizer. Ding bat, making too much noise during my video. Rude. All righty then. Where was it? Oh, run up here on the roof. And F, one, two, three, four, five. So the furthest one away. One, two, three, four, five. So, there you go. Every one of those has five. All right, run back down here. Now, in here itself, you can make you can make another terminal if you want. You can make the the. Cryopods, basically that's what they are, cryopods. You can also get, make a gun. And I've already made the gun. I'm out of cryopods, I've used the few I made. But to make these, they used to only be a couple crystals to make them. Now it's 10 crystals, five hide, four oil, 15 fiber, two metal ingots, and eight polymer. So they got quite expensive compared to what they used to be. But Let's go ahead and make one for now. Oh, and before, when you get these stale things, actually, go ahead and make two. All right. Um, let's see. Eight. 
Pulls ammo from personal storage. Um, what do we got? Anything we really want to play with here? Ah, here are the Elvis. If you can get wool off of them. So let's pull you. And anybody else got something? With, ooh, Lamantra. Let's see if he makes silk for us. All right. Go in here. Now, this is how you have to do it if you don't have a gun. You have to consume. And one of these would used to give you two of these. Now you only get one. And you can take it, equip, and there you go. And you can see the little picture of the guy. And it gives you a bunch of information. Oh, and he will not keep his inventory, okay? These guys will not keep their inventory, but we can drop them in here. All right, or you can take gun, and with the gun, it doesn't matter if it's like this or if it's in the other shape. And, but, no, that's it. Sorry. Wrong gun. That's the ASR structure gun. All right, right gun. And there we go. Same deal. Tip with this. If they if you got a flyer and, you know, when you tame them flyers, sometimes they'll take right off and you can't get them. Using the gun, you just pop them right out the air. Or you can use your storage thing, which, your Omega storage also works good for that. All right, let's put you in here. And if I remember, we'll come back before the, at the end of the video and check to see if we got any wool or silk in here. Because I don't know. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get wool out of these guys. Um, not. I don't know about the silk. I'm just guessing on that one. And basically, that's how these things work. Now, if I had bunch of females and males in here we it would start producing eggs and like those other mods when I had them in here you have other mods they'll you'll get eggs through here like for um, primeval or primal I think it's primal gives you different levels yeah you can that'll produce all the eggs for you as long as you put them in. Now what? Who's doing what down there? That's an irritating. What the hell? That's probably... Nope, didn't work that good. I knew there was another one of you jerks out here. Come here, you. Where'd you go? Anyways. There you go. We have gone over the two storage things. Oh, hush up. I know there's a storm. There's always a storm, you little turd monkey. Now, personally, I prefer to use the Omega one because I can. Al I always have my guys with me. I like to keep this on hand just for getting the extra stuff, especially the poop. It's so much easier. It is so so much easier. Why are you hanging out at my base all day long? You're past. All right. We also had planned on working on our base over, our thing here, so we don't keep having interruptions like that. No, not there.
Yeah, I know. You guys really want to watch this. This is boring as crap. Um, yeah, that's too big for a happy. That happy will work there. All these I can use the happies on. I have to make some more of those up. I don't have quite enough made up. We've got 20 of them. Excellent. You're facing the wrong way, stupid. All right. But yeah, this will be our goal. All right, how do I turn this sucker around? No, oh, E flip. There we go. Yeah, if you look at it, you can see that piece of wood coming down, so you know which way you want it. There we go. All right. We are done with that for now. We'll do most of that wall building off screen because, well, it's extremely long, boring, and annoying. Um, put you away. Chainsaw. I don't think I showed you what the chainsaw can do versus trees. I see. Hi. Okay, we got some wooden thatch, so let's get rid of the wooden thatch. So we can see just what we'll get out of this. All this other stuff. All right. For one tree, 500. One tree got us 2,800 wood and 500 back. So. All right, we're almost overweight now. And we have 14,000 wood, 2,500 thatch. Needless to say, it's nice to have this thing. But make sure you got weight because that crap will add up quick. All right. Get rid of that. Um, so we're going to take this. Throw it in here. And... See? Where'd you go? All right. We don't have enough for repair, but what we can do is go like this, boom, and now we got enough for repair. Excellent. All right. Let's head upstairs. Eh, I didn't leave them up. Out. Hey. We want, there we go, we want our RG. Put that away. And off we go. What is up on top of this one? Nothing. Look at that. Nice yellow drop there, and a nice yellow drop way over there, in opposite directions. We're going to grab this one since it's closest. Raptor. All right. Oh, it's got a ring around it, too, so hopefully we got good crap. Sending black boots, metal, silica pearls. That's always a good thing. We got a bunch of them. Silica pearls never hurt. 
Oh, that reminds me. We got to do the oil thingy. There we go. Grab that. Yes, we need to... Since we haven't picked one up yet, I was hoping, really, really hoping I'd get lucky and climb one in one of these stupid drops, but I haven't yet. So we're going to go check out the ye this yellow drop, see if we can get anything good. If not, well, then I guess we'll go make our own. Look at this, hidden in here. Always you little suckers. Rockwell, old bean, you've done it again. Both mother and child made it through. Timur is a proud father, and your head is still attached to its shoulders. Why, I was even a guest of honor at Timur's celebratory feast. I cannot say I enjoyed the blood sport that serves as the Burning Phoenix's entertainment, but the food was delectable. I was also sure to seize upon Timur's momentary goodwill by filling his ears with whispers of obelisks, artifacts, and the untold power they grant to mortal men. It may take time for those thoughts to turn to action, but with constant care, I may yet turn him into my unwitting general. Evil, evil, evil. All right. Nothing super great in that one. So yeah, that was a good base for early on. Sneak up there, start building. Not much can bother you. You just have to keep coming down all the time to get resources. Level 20 Titanosaur. Mm -hmm. How much? Uh, 230. No, that'll take forever. Only 5,000 a hit. That would take quite a long time to take him out. Yeah, and actually that ain't that high, so you can build something to get a ladder up there. And I just found the only thing that could bother you. Yeah, that would be a good starter base. Build off of this. It looks like it's just high enough that most of them can't, most dinosaurs can't get to you. All right. Why are you guys picking on that poor dodo? So ridiculous. All right, something else I failed to mention about these things. If I can find the right spot. Now, this one don't have it. Some of them do, some of them don't. Um, let's see. That's where our base is, so let's go up this way. the bones here. I know there's some up here. Are you the same megatherium that's been there forever? Ah, oh, there's some bones. You know, these big bones, you can't do nothing with them. These here. They're just decoration. But these other ones... These other ones you can get raw salt from. These here. Yeah, you get raw salt from those. With that, you can make preserving salt. You can use the preserving salt 
to make your food last longer in the preserving bins. <clears throat> of course, when you're playing modded, that's not really necessary. <clears throat> so that's why I didn't point it out sooner. Now, what the hell was I going to make? Oh, right. I was going to make an oil derrick. So we got to go in here. Oil. Oil pump. And I believe... Yes. You have to use a smithy. And we don't have enough electronics. Make some more electronics. All right. Which is okay, because we have this thing set up over here. Turn it on. Uh, composites. Electronics. 15. Excellent. Up to this one. Goes here. Switch that back to one and go. Oh. Jack fingers. All right. Craft one. Head back up to our birdie. And the closest one that I know of might be a more around here that I just haven't spotted yet, but there's one right here. Our original one. Okay. So zero. Put that on there. Access the inventory once. Alright. Now it's good to go. Now just periodically come back over here and there'll be oil in there now if you were on a server thing fills up nicely in a day since i'm not it'll only work while i'm online so i'm not going to get a super large amount all right and down here And we ditch all this sand. Because, oh, I guess it's not our salt. I guess it ain't that heavy. Um, what else we got? Drop that. Drop that. Uh, let's see. There we go. We don't need all this crap on us. Excessive crap is bad. Trade, 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 trade. And let's get rid of the saddle. Good points. Don't weigh anything, but doesn't hurt. All right. We didn't find, we haven't found a long neck yet, so we're going to make one. Long neck, toxic lung. Looks like we've already got long neck. Craft one, excellent. Now we want to craft one here. Craft. I think I got it yet. I might have upgrade station. I craft upgrade. There we go. Now this other one, it can do other things, but 
does take a lot of resources. This will probably take a lot of resources too. Uh, let's put you here. Alright. This on here. Attempt upgrade, and it says we need wood. So, wood. So, you know what? Since we have the quality of life mod, QOL plus. That's what it's called. That's how I get this stuff up here. You can just click on that. Type in what we want. Wood. How much do we want? Let's go with 5,000. Full. Cool. And now we have 5,000 wood in here. Now we hit attempt upgrade. And it says we need 95 metal ingots. Go back here. Once three thousand, we only have three thousand. We're gonna have to get some more metal and start cooking that crap up. We haven't been on a metal run in a while. Okay. Next, we need hide. Let's go ahead and pull in. No. Hide. Why do we have hide in the train station? Oh no. Just take all that and that. Alright, now can we upgrade this sucker? There we go. Go again. And we just keep going until we run out of. Which we already did. Yep, we need 64 more. All right, we're going to leave that there because we're not ready for it yet. Um, what do we have? Four metal. Oh, we got 10,000 metal. But, you know what? We're going to go on a metal run. Let's see, where are we? Right there. So, we're going to head up here. Because this is where I saw there was a ton of metal. Well, we're going to go ahead and do it anyways. Even though I forgot something, then we're going to have to go back. We forgot to make a saddle for our, our dude. All right. So eight full. Well, we have a baby Anki. Do we have any other Ankies or just that one? Just the one. Yes, it said it was a baby, but it's not a baby. All right. Hi. We're going to use our Omega teleporter. And jump back to base. What the hell? New chirpy sound. Run in here. I can see if we have one. Got two of them in here. Awesome. Go back to here. Last remote location. And saddle. Oh, he pulls a car too. Does that mean you're going to be screwed up too? All right. Make sure you don't still have the teleporter in your hand, otherwise your dinos will not attack. 
There we go. And we have not you, him. He's carrying it all, you dingus. Four thousand. There we go. Now, jump on here. Right click, pick him up. Now, another thing you can do with this guy, let's see if I can get it to work. Unfortunately, it's very, very difficult to line him. Oh, well. If you can line him up just right, he will he will swing on the metal rocks while you're carrying him. You have to have it lined up just right. And, well, I'm not really a patient person. All right. He's hungry, so let's get him some food. Did you not get any berries off of that? No, you did not. Why not? There we go. There, I got him berries. Yeah, now he's getting heavy. So, stop doing that, dingus. Look, that's only a 143, that's 210. Actually, watch. Close. So we move him over to here. Because even though he doesn't reduce the weight of stone, he does. 210, 105. So, this guy will reduce the weight of your metal. That's why he's got almost 10,000, and it doesn't weigh that much. Oh, all the berries probably weigh just as much. There we go. Okay, let's see. What else we got here? Nothing? Oh, one more. And we have a storm coming. And we're out of power. All right. Now, the best thing to do is to go zero. And teleport back to base. Move off of here. F. All right. Go to last remote location. All right, birdie seems to be problematic, so teleport Dino to your location, Argentavis, close, and there we go. But who wants to fly through this shit, so there we go. Now switch over to eight. We're done. Now we're safe inside our base. Full dyno. Tanky. Close. You mean tank cannot fit in this location? Then Anky, it can easily fit in there. Plug our heads.
You're being a pain. You still fully loaded? Nope. Uh, it's not like I'm going to get you through that door anyways. All right. Here's all our metal. Once you get close enough to the furnace, it will automatically pull metal off your dinos for you. That, but that's for the AA ones, the automatic arc. All right, put that away. What we need to do is get this thing set up. Let's see. Exclude struck. Let's see. Um, just don't touch that. That. Don't let. Oh, there you go. Gardening station, you don't need to bother with that. A fabricator. Don't need to bother with that, that. You gonna let me touch that? No. Um, let's see. For some reason it's not working. Confirm refresh list. There's an onion. All right. Let's see, ASR crafting bench. White. Select all. All right. And it's not even picking up on the stuff upstairs. being real difficult. I don't like you today. Maybe the electrical storm's messing with it. It can do that. Just like you cannot use the chainsaw during an electrical storm. It does not work. Oh. What else can we learn today? Oh. I think I already showed this, but... <clears throat> the Omega Teleporter. You can teleport your dinos to your location, like we did. Let's see. Teleport tribe member. You can also use this to retrieve your corpse bag if you die. Teleport to a specific obelisk. Not on this map. They haven't updated it for this yet. For some reason. Um, teleport to a specific tribe member if you're on a server. And let's see. Go to the teleporter. Remote teleporter. You can teleport dinos to a specific location. So. Instead of just teleporting them to me. Let's go. Go over here, teleport, find out your specific teleporter. Oh, right. That's not how that works. Cool, using this one, everything's in red instead of blue. All right. You point it at your dinosaur. Right click and teleport down to specific teleporter. Okay. Not gonna work, huh? All right. Let me get rid of that. This light is. What the hell is with this light? That's a lot of stars. 
But what's with this dang light? Come on. Turn off. Throw the light in here some. Too damn bright. Ridiculous. Anyways, where were we? I'm not sure why he's not working. He should be. Port down at a specific location. Teleport close. Teleport down at specific. Will you go there? Nope. We won't. All right. That one screwed up on this map. It worked on the other one. I have used it on the other map, so I know it works on the island. Okay, I've turned all the damn lights off and it's still brighter than crap in here. <sighs> um, what else we got? Yeah, like chibis. You can take these. Well, it used to be you take these and you put them here, but now it's down here. So we have a trike, an onyx, which is a bat. Or a terror bird. Oh, goody. Custom cr creature custom skin. First, apply a custom cosmetic to this and apply it to an appropriate creature. I don't have any. But anyways, you take your chibi and you put it in here. You could name it if you'd like. And you get this little thingy that follows you around. He doesn't do anything except follow you around. He can't fight. He can't do anything. He can take damage, though, which kind of stinks. Then he will go up in levels. I believe if you get him up so many levels, you can go up five more levels yourself. All right. Now, this thing here. Um, it has other parts to it, namely, let's see if we can find it. Uh, oh, we got a salvage station, breaks down items in exchange for resources. Good to know. Um, let's see. All right, click on upgrade. Why do we get stuck with just you? Why is everything acting weird today? See? Upgrade station. Try blueprint. It's quality of life blueprint. Odd. Augment station. Things, things do not seem to be like they're supposed to be. The blueprint station is also supposed to have, or the upgrade station should have an augment station and a blueprint station that actually attached to it. So, 
Let's go ahead and make these up real quick. Just because. All right, let's see. Blueprint station. Um, no, I don't want the quality of life blueprint station. Um, thank you, thank you. We want augment. I logged it correctly. And salvage. Okay, now let's see if this works. Hmm. See, it used to snap onto there. I don't know if it's the same one or not. So let's go ahead and put this stuff over here. I still haven't moved that. So sure about that one. Augment station. Ah, oh, all right. Yeah, this definitely looks like the other one was. Increased damage, increased damage, increased durability, increased dur or decreased durability. Why the hell would you want to decrease durability? That just sounds stupid. Place. And that was another thing. Yes, all these things used to be built in, so you could put them all in that one table. Now it just seems all screwy. All right, let's see. Test this out. Handcuffs. Who needs handcuffs? This is single player. Salvage all items. There we go. So that works. Like I said, this thing here, yes, you used to be able to salvage items in here. You used to attach the blue print station right there and the augment station right there. Instead of all this crap being separate like that. There must have been a problem at, that they couldn't solve unless they did it that way. Well, anyways, this is Talon Razor Claws. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Have a wonderful day. Talent.